Hey guys, this is Nitro, and uh, I'm just here in front of our new house, Max and I's new house. He is not on the server right now. I'm trying to get him to join, but having some problems. But um, you may be wondering, how did you go from day one to stinking living in a well-protected desert temple with gold, four gold blocks and like all this and a whole bunch of haters and all this stuff and enchanting stuff. Well, the thing is, I recorded probably about an hour or two of video and we played for another hour, but on some of the videos I was trying to do 15 minutes and I wasn't paying attention twice and they went over. Well, it takes like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to upload a 10 minute video as it is. So, you can imagine how long it takes to upload a video that's 18 minutes long. And it takes really long if it's over 15 minutes for people that don't have, like, um, the setting thing set up and some kind of high-tech whatever. I don't know how to do that yet. I'll have to figure that out. But this is the best. Like, 10 minutes is probably going to be what they are, like I intended. But we have enchantments, and we actually took the TNT out of the bottom and played around with it down here we made a gigantic hole and uh but we've just been just chilling we got went and found there's three villages on this world that i found hold on i think this might be max nope it's not hello hey hold on just a second i'm recording i'll call you back i promise i will in like five minutes bye I gotta call you back in like five minutes. Bye. What? I can't. Cause I'll call you back later. Bye. Alright, but anyway, that was Agent Waffles actually calling. Anyway, all these bookshelves we got from villages. And you may not be able to see, but there is a village, uh there's a village right here. On where I'm pointing, there's a village, um, uh, there's a village up here, and there's a very small two house village. I mean, not th uh, four house village, it had a blacksmith, and a library, and two other houses, and it is somewhere in. Right there. It's right there. And I don't know what that is. That's either a patch of exposed stone or that's something like a village. But anyway, we found all that. And I also found, well, I found one and Max found one, um, two zombie spawners. He found one. There's a cobblestone tower. You might not be, oh, crap. You might not be able to see it, but it's over that direction, just like 50, 60 blocks away and not too far underground so I will be making a a spawner with that like a, a mob grinder and I will do a tutorial whenever I make it it just seems better to do it in survival mode than it does in creative and there's also one that is over that way that by that other village that I said this it's by this village up here it's like right there but, um, it is, like, literally a surface spawner. It it had, like, one layer of sand above it. And after time, you walk around it enough, or you place a torch near it, or it ca something causes a block update, a sheep eats a piece of grass by it, or whatever, and all the sand falls down. Well, that happened. And so now we've got a, like, spawner that's above ground, pretty much. And... I also almost fell to my death earlier today whenever Max and I were playing, and it scared the crap out of me. He, he sat there and laughed about it, but, um, anyway, in, somewhere in this area, um, around in here somewhere, I just come from this village, and I was on my way back going up this way by this jungle, and, um, I had to go to the bathroom, so I was going to dig down into a hole in the sand, and I dug down... Two, three, hit sandstone, wasn't deep enough. 
dug it and I fell about 60 blocks into an underground ravine covered up under the desert. No sign of it being a ravine there. But I fell into it and there was water coming in from one of the side walls. And whenever it hits the ground, water will go eight blocks in any one direction. And the eighth block is like as thick as a piece of carpet is, and or a pressure plate. And I think it's a bug since the last update, but I'm thankful for it because you're supposed to only be able to land in one block deep water from a height above, like, death height and not take damage at all. Well, I landed on that thing of water, and, like, I was over here, and, like, say the water was at the wall. I moved, like, this far in the air and landed on, like, this block, and this is where the water ended. And... I didn't get damaged at all, and it scared the crap out of me, and I immediately built back up and came home because I had a whole bunch of stuff on me. But anyway, this is just going to be a little update video, and um, I don't really know what I want to do, except just, I'm sorry about the whole not getting very many episodes thing, and my friend Max is not going to be able to play Minecraft for a while because he's got to go back to his dad's house. And he can't play during the week, and he cannot play Minecraft on the weekends when he can play because he doesn't have it yet. He's got to buy it again. He have it, has it at his mom's house, but not his dad's. But we've got two two towers of sugar cane and cactus because when you're far away, it's easy to see very tall things because they load in first. Like that mountain just loaded in. Let's see if I can unload it and load it again again. Let's see. You come over here. Well, bam. Mountain loads in. That's like... Probably a little bit taller than those, maybe, maybe not. But you can be at the mountain and you can see our tower and know where we're living. But I did say we're going to live in high-tech stuff. We do not have that much um, redstone and stuff like that right now. We're still getting set up a little bit. But we do have enough redstone and wood. And I hear a skeleton. It's probably underneath. But we do have enough for me to show the... Um, x-ray glitch so I'll do that real quick alright so you need two blocks of redstone and two fences alright so it's really cheap and I got two fences now what you want to do is get those two items in your inventory and go anywhere 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 I need to kill this guy I don't know why I didn't like this up Anyway, you want to go anywhere in the world and just dig down two blocks. And hopefully I don't dig into another ravine with sand above it. That would be terrible. But anyway, I'll dig down right over here. And you're going to want to dig one, two, down. Oh, God. Just to be sure. I just glitched right there. That was weird. That was unintentional. Alright, and you're wanna, gonna wanna be in a hole. If you can't see, you should be, alright, you can see. This big, alright, two by two by one. And you're gonna wanna take the fences and put them on the far wall, like that. Okay? Then you're gonna want, you don't have to do this, but I like to, um, start with the bottom one. And you're gonna want to place the bottom one directly on this fence post, like this. And you're inside the block, alright? And then you're gonna wanna place it on the top one. Now you won't suffocate, because it's redstone blocks. You can use glowstone. You cannot use glass because you can see through glass. You can use glowstone and redstone blocks. Those are the two that I know you can use. But what you're looking at now is everything that's underneath. And that is actually, that right there is actually the spawner that, um, that Max found earlier. Like, legit. He, we didn't do this. Ex this is the first time we've done the x-ray glitch on this map. But like, I can see iron. I can see a bat. I can see a zombie down there, um, skeleton over there in that cave, and I mean, you can just see pretty much anything. So this is a really convenient glitch, and it hasn't been fixed since the last update. It has actually been in Minecraft for a while. I don't know if you can do it on PC, but I know that since Minecraft and Xbox 360 right now, Minecraft PS3 and Xbox 360 are the same, you can do it. So anyway... I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe.